ball left center field. This one is deep. It's way back toward the track, and it is gone. The Nationals' first grand slam of the season belongs to Trey Turner. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today it is time to talk about the Washington Nationals. We got the Washington Nationals expert here, David Knight. To discuss this team, we'll go through the new additions. We're going to go through the lineups. We'll go through the bench, rotation, and bullpen to see what's going on with the Nationals. Can they get back to their 2019 ways after a pretty bad 2020 season? And we'll start at Josh Bell, big time power hitter, but he was he hadn't been great for a little bit while. A little while, he got Lester, got Schwarber. But what do you think of these guys? Just kind of go through their the off season and, and the big names that you see here. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on, Eric. I appreciate that as always. Been a big supporter channel. You support my channel as well. So, got a nice online friendship going there. So, it's good to be on here. Um, I like Josh Bell trade. It was kind of surprising. Um, my concern about any kind of trade for us was the farm system because we got a very thin and a very weak farm system. Uh, I don't think we can get a whole lot because people are saying they, they go get Chris Bryant, they get Sarah Milto. We had no money, which is why I picked up nobody's options. <laughs> we had uh, no prospects. So it's like, how are we going to do that? But anyway, the Bell trade was good. We didn't, didn't give too much for him. And we still waiting to do first part of 2019. So, I mean, first part of 2019, yeah. uh, he was in the car. And then he just declined from there. Um, but, I mean, I think if we can get somewhere between first half 2019 and, like, 2020 in the middle, I yeah. think that would be decent for us. Um, Avila's going to be a, a death piece for us. I like the John Lester deal. A super cheap signing there. He's not expected to, to be the ace. So it's not like we want him to come in and win 20 games for a 2.5 ERA because we have Scherzer, Strasburg, right. and Coleman. And if they're healthy, we have three aces on this team. Uh, yeah. It's just if they're on track because Max already has a twisted ankle. So great, great start. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully he's all right. Um, I love the Brad Hand signing. This was because we haven't had a closer, a bona fide closer in a while who can be right. consistent. Hand has a great track record. Um, he was a great last year in Cleveland. Yeah, his, his velocity was down, but being a lefty, he could rely on his breaking pitches and get so good strikeouts. And I think he'll do good for us. And Schwarber was a much needed power boost. I think he's better than what he did in 2020. He uh, he's much better than that. I mean, I, I, expect, I expect 30 home runs out of him this year in the full season. I yeah. think he can do it, and our line needs some serious help. So I was yeah. happy overall. And also, I hear that Jeffress signing is a sneaky signing because he was good last year, and we're giving him a minor league deal, so that's, that's, that's a sneaky signing for us. I like that one, but I like our offseason. We, we, we brought Zayner back, obviously, yeah. maybe more a bench piece, but I like it. I mean, we need offense. We need, need some bullpen help. We need a starter, and we, we check all the needs. So I think it was a solid B. I mean, we, we checked our needs. Uh, the, the moves we made didn't make us a contender right away. I mean, it's not like we, we went and got Arenado or we signed Tura Bauer, you know, or got Ramoto. If yeah. we done something big like that, then that'd be different. But I mean, it's, our our division's tough anyway because we got the uh, the Braves and we have the Mets and and that, even the Marlins and Phillies. It's going to be a tough division. So that's about fair. Yeah, I think about a B. I was going to say about a B minus B because uh, yeah, I mean you're picking up some big names that we don't know how Josh Bell's going to do and Lester. Lester's a little older, but uh, yeah, I mean you're getting some some good guys there and. Now for the lineup, uh, yeah, I mean, I think but when I look at it, I see the top is, is, is scary. Turner, Schwarber, Soto, Bell, Castro, after that, it kind of you know, kind of slows down. Key boom, it's big. We need key boom to uh, be better. Uh, what would mm -hmm. you say about this lineup overall? I mean, obviously much improved because batting a of 30 having a sandwich between Schwarber and Bell. I think ideally for us, and of course Dave, Dave Martinez says as well, that um, Trey Turner would be great batting second. Or maybe even third. It's just yeah. The problem is he's that spark plug guy for us at the top of the order, and he's the one that gets it done for us. But he when he when, when he's not allowed to get on base, we are a much better team because of his ability to steal bases, getting the pitcher's heads. He's really good at that stuff. And if we can find someone who can lead off, like I think Robles could be that leadoff guy someday. If he can just work on his play for a little bit and get better offensively, I mean he's still on base as well. We know he can, he's a gold glove caliber center fielder already. It's just getting him to hit more consistently. So if we can do that, I mean, we can have Turner second. We can put a robust lead off. He can move. He can move short out of five in the order. Makes lineup that much deeper. You had that. You have a, yeah. a three, four, five of Soto, Bell, and Schwarber. 
that's a good three through five. If that, especially feeding off each other like that, because they're going to get pitched to hit like that. So, yeah. and for Key Boom, I think this is this is make this is make his make or break year. I think he thinks I was type twenty five now, and he's yeah. uh, he's this is off the top prospect list. Uh, obviously, short season. He didn't hit that great last year. He struggled. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't really make a lot of contact. But I think it was dealing with a, a, an injury too. I hope that was the case. But I think at third base, we give him one more year. I hope he can break through its process and surprise me. Yeah, you definitely need Keyboom. Uh, prove he's not a uh, you know quadruple A uh, player. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. You know, is he the real deal or what? But yeah, other than that, yeah, it's decent lineup. Uh, Starlin Castro. Starlin Castro. I was looking at Starlin Castro's career. I was like, dang, that guy's had a nice little career here. 1,600 hits and four All Stars. And- yeah, Castro. I mean, prior to getting his hurt his wrist last year, he was one of our best hitters. I mean, he, he hurt his wrist last year and ended up missing the rest of the season. He's better with 300. For, I want to say he's about 300 plus for us before he got hurt. Um, and then, unfortunately, he didn't play the rest of the season. But, I mean, I mean, going for one more season, uh, Castro, again, uh, he's one of those guys. He's not going to walk a lot, but he does have a little power. He's average defensively. I guess he was split in time with maybe Garcia at second base, possibly, depending on where, if they start with AAA or not. Um, but, so, yeah, I mean, if, if everyone's healthy, I mean, and – and certain guys step up. This line, I think, will be much better than last year because outside of Soto, yeah. had nobody last year. Either. So I was going to give the lineup. I mean, I give it a, a B minus. I can't give it any lower than that when you got Soto and Turner and Schwarber. But just kind of, you know, I, I don't know about you know Robles. Kind of, eh, he strikes out a lot. But overall, give it a B minus. Could be better if if Keyboom uh, comes through. Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking it's C plus B minus, uh, something like yeah. that. I mean, it's. I mean, definitely the power on paper is much better. Having Schwarber and Bell in that lineup makes it better already, um, and so I agree. I mean, I can. I, that's fair. I mean, I think we we have to prove because after because once you get to Gomes, Gomes is not he's a, he's a defense guy. He's not known for his offense. Yeah. And Keeman again still has to show he can hit. So um, I, that's pretty close to fair, I think. So let's uh, take a look at the bench here real quick here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's cool. Zimmerman's coming back, lifelong uh, National. Josh Harrison's a little bit older, but, you know, that good defense, I think, good speed. Uh, Andrew Stevenson, he's been tearing it up, especially against right. He's, right, if I'm, uh, he's a left-hander, right, if I'm not mistaken. but Yeah, yeah. Stevenson's a left-handed hitter. He's mainly using the fourth outfitter for us. Uh, he's good in that role. He, he actually runs pretty fast. He's got real good speed. Uh, faster than you think he would be. Um, plays yeah. solid defense. His, his bats hit or miss, which is why – Prior to us signing Schwarber, he's going to be in right field. I'm like, oh, great. I don't know how, how I feel about that. And playing every day yeah. was bad. But as a bench guy, he's he's really good. Uh, Josh Harris, he can play over the infield. He can play a little left field, too, if you need him to. Because Harris gives that super utility type guy. And he actually yeah. liked it here. He actually grew to an extension um, prior to the end of the offseason. So he, he, he came right back on. And um, Ron Zimmerman, I mean, he's had the back issues last few years and some injury concerns. So I think him playing on the bench is going to be good for him, uh, not playing yeah. every day. That in the year off probably helped him out too. But because oh, he's like my age, so he's like thirty six. So I mean, at that, at that day, that's like getting old in baseball. You know, it's old. In yeah. Baseball. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we'd be old men in baseball. Um, oh man, I'd be retired by now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. There's some forty year olds still killing it, like Nelson Cruz, for example. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but Zimmerman, yeah, I think him playing on the bench gives us five stars with lefties, perhaps. Um, you know, pitch heading. I think he's going to do good in that role. I think he's. I think he's said that's going to be his role. So a good leadership guy. Um, Garcia's a good young infielder. I like him. I want to see what he can do because he he shows some good flashes this past season. Um, yeah. And Avila. Avila's going to be a backup catcher. He might get a few more stars in a regular backup. Um, it's just he's definitely on the decline. But again, I, I wish we would have you know maybe tried to get maybe a Molina, a Yadi Molina, oh, yeah. Yeah, or someone yeah. like that. I knew I knew he had no shot of getting the can or Ramute. That was a pipe dream. Um, yeah. But you know maybe Molina, but he didn't go back to Cardinals. And that honestly, it feels weird seeing him not in a Cardinals uniform. So that's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean that's a, a pretty good bench. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't always give grades to the bench, but I'd say it's a solid. I don't know, C plus, B minus. What do you think? Yeah, I mean I, I'm I'm stingy with bench grades. I'd say probably a C. Uh, because yeah. you got versatility here, but no one off this bench really scares you. You don't believe Andrew Stevens' 340 batting average or whatever it's been the last couple of years? I, I, no, I, that, that's, that's in a very small sample. If you put yeah. him over a certain period of time, he's not batting 340. He's just, yeah. if he does, he's going to surprise me. I, that, that would shock me. 
Um, he got, he's more of a speed and defense guy. He's I like him as a player. I like his attitude. Great team guy, but I, he's just he doesn't seem like an, an everyday guy for me at this point. Okay, let's check out the rotation here. And uh, obviously, um, I mean, it looks intimidating with Scherzer, Corbin, yeah. Strasburg, Lester. Looks like a damn All Star team. But the problem is, you know, obviously Scherzer Corbin didn't have the best seasons last year. Uh, Strasburg's coming off of that injury. Lester's a little bit older, maybe washed yeah. up, not sure. Uh, <laughs> after that, uh, I'm not really sure. So you tell me because and the names pop, but are the stats going to be there? Yeah, and that's a big concern. Strasburg, of course, I've seen things about him like every other year he's hurt. And he was hurt yeah. last year. So hopefully he'll be good this year. <laughs> if that, that's the case. <laughs> On odd years, he's not hurt, apparently. But seriously, though, yeah, I mean, when these guys are on on board and healthy and good to go, they're, we have three number ones in the rotation. That's because we signed Corbin to top money when we got my contract prior to 2019 season. And Corbin was good that year for us. He was good and he was good out of the bullpen in the postseason. Um, and Corbin was actually one of our more consistent pitchers last year. Uh, our team had a lot of problems last year, obviously. But yeah. Um, Draws are being hurt. Definitely didn't help. And Lester, I think he's better than that five plus ERA uh, represents. Uh, I think with him not not having the pressure of being the big guy, it's going to help him be able to relax and plus have him talk to Strasburg and Scherzer. Can do nothing but help him. I think it's going to be great for him. And the number five spot, I think it probably goes to Jay Ross. I've always been a big fan of Jay Ross for a long time. Had the Tommy John surgery, yeah. of course, missed some playing time. Fetty has shown flashes, but I don't know if – to me, Fetty more, more of a 4A pitcher. That's how what, what he reminds yeah. me of. He's kind of those up-and-down guys for us. So, I mean, I think if we get Scherzer, Strubber, and Corbin on track, I think that um, those three can be good. We have a chance. We, we got a really yeah. good chance. Yeah, no doubt. And, uh, yeah, Joe Ross got, I think, a nice sinker. These, these guys aren't guys that strike out a ton here at the bottom, but they, uh, yeah. they got decent stuff. So, yeah, I think one or the other – will uh, definitely be all right. And uh, jumping into the bullpen, yeah, like I said, um, uh, that Brad Hand was such a nice sign. He's already had Hudson, who was struggled last year, but you got T Tanner Rainey, who looks legit. Will Harris is good. Uh, Wander Squirrel is good. Uh, Jeffries, like you said, really, you know, Kyle, I mean, I see, a, uh, usually the Nationals are like their bullpens, like the the weak, the weak link, but I think this yeah. year might be all right. What do you think? Huh. I'm, I'm making no assumptions on that right now, because every time I do it, it always <laughs> blows up my face. Uh, I always joke around um, that my, the NAS bullpen's cursed. Even in like the uh, the out of park game I stream on my channel, uh, the bullpen sucked for three seasons before I finally got decent. <laughs> it was yeah. it was just one of those things. But anyway, but Hudson definitely was a guy in the World Series. I sure he stepped up. We got him via trade from the Blue Jays, I think, and he ended up being a closer going down the stretch and uh, helping with the World Series. Uh, and of course, Randy I think has closer potential. It's just his command's not there yet. His command is not quite there, but he has a, a, a three-inch fastball, that nasty slider. If yeah. he can just locate that, he's going to be very tough to hit. Um, Will Harris, I think it was his first year last year, a veteran guy. I think he can bounce back this year. Like I said, I love, I love the Brad Hanson. I love it. I think he's going to slow the closures by for us. We lost a little to free agency, and Han has been pretty healthy, so I think he'll be fine. Suaro is a decent piece. He has his bad stretches. He's a decent pitcher, and of course, Jeffers I like. And the young guys, Finnegan, Hart, McGowan, they're going to be depth, I think, for this bullpen. Um, but Finnegan, I, I think we got him last year. He's pretty good. We got him on like a, a cheap guaranteed deal with no big league experience. That's actually okay for us. Yeah. So I'm hoping that works again for all our other signings. So, I mean, I'm optimistic, but at the same time, I've been hurt too much. <laughs> <with the bullpen. laughs> they, 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 they've, they've upset me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I like this pin. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what Daniel Hudson's going to bring and, you know, Will Harris. But, uh, yeah, like you said, a lot of good young arms and, and Rainey and, I mean, hand. I mean, dang, it's it's it looks good. But, uh, I mean, what did I give it? I think I gave it a – give the bullpen a B. I know that doesn't sound great, but compared to, you know, usually the Nationals bullpen is awful. So Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say be minus because I'm a little cynical because I don't, I don't want to see them actually do it on the field. <laughs> I don't yeah. trust them to do it. Um, I'm hoping Hand does. Don't get Nats curse. Come on, no national bullpen curse. Um, Brad Hand, defy it. But uh, yeah, um, I hope we're good. That's all I can say. Um, I just hope that we can. I think a lot of our bullpen problems isn't necessarily the pitcher's fault. I think Dave Martinez had to learn how to use his bullpen. Uh, first year as our manager, I think back in 2018, uh, he uh, 
he had a lot of complaints and requests about his bullpen use about warming up guys, sitting them back down, yeah. and how that messed with him a little bit. I think he's getting better about that. Uh, so I think that may have been more of the usage of the coaching staff. So I hope they've gotten that down pat. And I think we extended Dave Martinez, so may, the, the front office likes him. So apparently he's going to be around for a while. So hopefully they'll be good this year. We'll see what happens. I mean, overall, as a team, I gave them a, a B minus. I gave them a B minus because I mean, uh, I like this. I like the bullpen they got, and look at that rotation with, uh, like you said, three potential aces. Uh, you got a lineup with Soto, and, and uh, I don't know. I give it a B minus. What do you think overall? Yeah, I think that's reasonable. I mean, the line the line is much improved. If we can get those three guys in rotation back, Scherzer, Strasburg, and Corbin healthy, that one through two is going to be tough every time you go through them. Um, yeah. that, and, and, and they can pitch to anybody when they're on. We know that. Uh, so it's just getting them on the same page. And can the bullpen actually step up to how good they look on paper? That's the thing that has always been our problem. Um, if we can do that, I I think we got a shot. I, I don't know if you're going to get to the prediction for our placing or not, but um, I think we can do as good as third place this year because the, the Braves and the Mets have just – Braves are good. They got that – in fact, they extended their manager Snicker for two more seasons in 2023. Um, so yeah. and that was announced today. So Braves got a good system with Snicker and the farm system and how they developed their guys. Uh, the, the Mets the, did a lot. They got Lindor. They signed McCann. Um, they got Carrasco, which I think is still a very underrated move, uh, getting yeah. Carrasco as part of that trade. Yeah. So they're going to be tough. But I think we can c- compete for a solid third place. And if, if we get lucky, who knows? You know, if, if they decide to expand the playoffs again, at the last second, like they, like they did last year, <laughs> we yeah. may we, we might get it. Who knows? Oh yeah, if they do that, yeah, you might be you might have a, a good shot. But um, good looking team, I, and I think they'll be a lot better than last year. I think last year you had the, a little bit of World Series hangover and just some tough years, and you lost yeah. Strasburg. You lost Strasburg. I mean, that's your guy right there. So yeah, that definitely hurt. As soon as give him that John extension, he gets hurt. Go figure. Yeah. Carpal tunnel of all things. Yeah, carpal tunnel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Brutal. insane. All right, sounds good. So I appreciate you coming on. I just wanted to do a quick uh, get some experts in here for uh, the Nationals preview. We'll have a Blue Jays preview with Ballcast Sports coming up. We'll have uh, some other previews as well. I'm doing all 30 teams in 30 days, but make sure to go check out uh, David Knight's channel. And I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link and a comment, pinned comment. So go check him out. Get those subscribers on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Appreciate you coming on, and uh, we'll talk to everybody next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.